All right, welcome back. So this will be kind of a short video again because I'm going to assume that you've already watched my other video on the regular balance sheet. All we're doing for the pro forma is making some assumptions. Okay. Here's some sample assumptions. Again, projected revenues. Okay, that's an obvious one. You know, based on industry trends, you think that you know about 10% of your sales are going to result in cash. You know, accounts receivable 10%, inventory for sales, gross fixed fix assets might cost $100 right, as opposed to a percentage. Your accounts payable won't be 10%, 5%, cost of equipment 150, and the building cost might be 50, right? Again, you're just making projections, and of course in my assumptions video, we talk about where you might get those assumptions. And so if you want to try to predict how much cash you're going to have on hand, all you're going to do is multiply projected revenues times your cash per sale. Let's see, here's a sample liability, just to give you an example. Let's say that you want to figure out your accounts payable per sales, okay? You would just multiply your projected revenues. Actually, unfortunately, these are about the same number. That's probably not the best place to be. But again, you, you get the point, right? And based on these numbers, again, this can help you get some sort of a gauge on how profitable you'll be, how much financing you'll need. It's like it's like no other, it's like every other pro forma document. You're just coming up with some base assumptions to kind of um, be able to communicate to lenders, to venture capital companies to interior stakeholders such as your employees and also to exterior stakeholders such as your suppliers if you're trying to get supplier credit, customers if you're trying to get customer credit, etc. Okay? All you've done is you've taken some assumptions. Once you understand the basic balance sheet, the pro forma one is really easy. Okay? Again, if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. And give me a like if you like the video and of course feel free to subscribe. We're going to do a real quick pro forma cash flow sheet, and that'll wrap up our pro forma, pro forma documents. Awesome. I'll see you in the next video.